How would you show up if you knew that everything that you desired is on its way to you right now? How would your actions and your habits change today? What energy would you show up in? What are the things that you would do or that you wouldn't do if you knew for 100% certainty that it was coming to you. And living in this energy is how you magnetize that life to you. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nat and on this channel we talk all about healing, up leveling, and living your best life. So if that aligns with you, please hit the subscribe button. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday so also hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I want you to really think about what it is that you want, whether it's a new job, whether it's more money, friendships, whatever it is that you have been wanting for a really long time, just think about it. Bring it up in your mind right now. Now just imagine that you knew for 100% certainty that it was coming into your life in literally two weeks. So you know how when you get hired for a job, it kind of takes like two weeks for everything to sort of fall into place. Like you got to do all the paperwork, you got to show up for the training, whatever it is. It kind of takes about two weeks from the time you receive the job opportunity to actually start the job. But in those two weeks, you already know that it's coming. So think of it in that way. So just imagine that this thing that you want is literally just like a job opportunity and you're just waiting for two weeks. You're waiting for things to fall into place, but you know that it's coming to you. And so what energy would you be in today if you knew that what you wanted was only two weeks away? You'd probably feel really excited. You'd probably get goosebumps just thinking about it. And how would it affect the way that you're showing up today? You'd probably walk around feeling more grateful more appreciative, you'd really be like more in the present moment because you know that your life is going to completely change in just two weeks. So when you do this powerful visualization exercise, you're changing your state of being, you're changing your energy. And when you change your energy, you change your life. We are energetic beings living in an energetic universe. We are made up of 99.9999% energy and less than 0.00001% matter. So you know that whole saying that was going around for a while to be delusional, be delusional if you want to attract the life of your dreams? Well, it's actually not delusional to visualize the life of your dreams and to think that it's so close to you because what's actually delusional is living by the matter, the less than 0.00001%. And what is delusional is letting what is happening in the physical world dictate how you feel energetically. Instead, to truly create change in your life, you need to switch that around. Let the way that you feel energetically dictate what you create in the physical world. So instead of allowing yourself to react to your external environment, create a sense of internal peace and stability within yourself and that is what's going to create a more stable and peaceful external environment. It all starts with your internal energy first. And the reason so many people struggle with this is because of our minds. Our mind likes to know the how. Our mind likes to live in the past. And our mind only recognizes what you can perceive with your physical senses, what you can perceive with your five senses. Really, that's all we can make sense of is what we can physically see, what we can hear, what we can touch, what we can taste. Like that is what life is to us when we're living in our minds, when we're living in the 3D. And in the world that we live in today, so many people are living in their minds, trapped in their minds, trapped in overthinking and thinking about the past. And so the way that you change this is by getting out of your mind and getting into your body because your body recognizes what's past your physical senses. Your body feels energy. When you walk into a room and you feel the tension, you're not feeling that with your mind. You're feeling that with your body. You're feeling that energy in your body. And your body is what's telling your mind that there's something off about that room. All of the energy starts in your body. And one of the most powerful exercises that you can do is meditating and becoming aware of the energy that's surrounding your body. So in Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza, he talks about how when you do this meditation, you increase brain coherence, meaning your cells are better able to communicate with one another. And when your cells are able to communicate more effectively, you are healthier. And something else that he talks about in that book is that when we're so caught up in stress and we're so caught up in what's happening in the external world, we become so focused on matter. When you are more focused on matter than you are focused on energy, you create brain incoherence. So like I just explained what brain coherence is, is when your cells are communicating more effectively, brain incoherence is when they're not communicating effectively. 
and that's where disease is created. That's where sicknesses are created and cancers are created in our body because our cells are not communicating with one another. So this meditation is so powerful. You're kind of just like sitting in silence. At first you kind of focus on your physical body and then you focus on the energy around your body. It's really the craziest thing ever. So many people have trained their bodies and their minds to live in the past. So when you feel anxious, stressed, worried, you're living in the past. When you have limiting beliefs and doubts, you're living in the past. Limiting beliefs, stress, anxiety, all of this, it's just a signal to you that you're living in the past. It's a signal that you're repeating the past. And so if you're wondering, okay, well, how do you break yourself out of this cycle? How do you actually create a new life for yourself? You need to train your body to live in the future. You need to break your addiction to the past and to those familiar feelings of anxiety, stress, worry. You need to train your body to live in gratitude, appreciation, love, more higher vibrational emotions. And you do this through powerful visualization exercises and meditations like the one that I mentioned earlier in this video. You do this by releasing those stuck emotions that are living stagnant within your body. You do this by focusing on your energy rather than focusing so much on the matter and so much on the external world around you. You do this by going within and focusing on the inner work that's within you. And this is how I was able to completely change my life. A year ago, I was going through a breakup. I was depressed. I was broke. I had no job. I was living at my parents' house. When you're watching this video, I will have already moved to my dream state, to California, in my dream apartment. It's a dream luxury apartment, something that I could have only ever dreamed of something that was literally Im physically impossible a year ago. I have a job that I love and that gives me so much freedom. I make more than enough money in my life now. I have more time freedom, location freedom, and I'm able to create content on here and do the things that I love doing. And I don't say all of this to brag, I say all of this to remind you that it's possible. And I'm actually in the process of creating a program that will teach you how to completely change your life by changing your state of being, by changing your energy, by changing who you are at the energetic level first, and that is how you create a new future. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in and you wanna get on the wait list so that you can be the first one to know when this program is released, you can sign up at the link in the description box below. But for now, continue to hold that knowing for yourself. Continue to remind yourself that everything that you desire is on its way and live your life in that knowing, live your life in that certainty. When you live in that knowing and you embody that truth, you're actively creating your life instead of repeating the past. This is truly life changing. If you found this video helpful, you can watch this video next where I talk all about changing your life at the identity level. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.